For 24 years, Alan Jones was the Dean of Grace Cathedral. It was really pretty much from the moment I entered college all the way up until my middle adulthood. And we're so fortunate that he's still a member of our congregation. I see him every single Sunday. And, and the best thing about it for me is having somebody who really understands the fundamental mission of a cathedral. Uh, he's given me many books over the time. Uh, some of the books are about uh, abstract philosophy. But uh, one day he sent me a letter that described what a cathedral is. Uh, and it, it came from uh, Albert van de Heuvel. He was the General Secretary of the World Council in Churches. And he wrote this in 1948 about what a cathedral is. So first, a cathedral is a symbol of pro-existence. It is a place in this fractious society where we can build the bonds that connect us, the structures that help us to really be a true community. Second, a cathedral is a symbol of diversity and unity. Uh, the very fact, the, the only way that we can have a cathedral, the only way it can function, is if a tremendous number of people work in concert with one another. So that teamwork really is at the center of a cathedral's life. Third, a cathedral is a Pentecostal library. The Pentecost is the, the birthday of the church. Uh, this is a place of spiritual uh, experimentation. This is a place where we learn about how God calls us in many different ways. At Grace Cathedral, we have perhaps the largest yoga practice in the Northern Hemisphere. And each yoga practice begins with a kind of sermon. We are meeting so many people who come from so many different diverse uh, spiritual practices and they come to this place and they find it a place where they can be fed. The next thing he describes the cathedral as is a theater of basic drama. Uh, there's so many dramas that are playing out in our lives, but one of the dramas is that this is a place where tourists and visitors become pilgrims, where they begin to see the meaning in um, their explorations of the world. The cathedral is also a temple of dialogue. Uh, uh, Alan said that he, it reminds him of a cartoon he saw when he was a child growing up in England. He said um, that in England it was um, characteristics to say, you need a good talking to. In the, the poster, the, the, the little cartoon said, um, has a, a man with his finger like this talking to a young child saying, you need a good listening to. And so cathedrals, when they're at their best, are places where people are listening to one another. Uh, it's also a center of creativity. It's the reason why we have artists in residence, art exhibits, etc. There are uh, ways that we transcend ourselves, experience the, the numinous, the holy, uh, in, in ways that are, are for everyone. The cathedral is also an academy of committed information. This is a place where we learn the wisdom of the human race, and it's a place where we learn from one another the, the truths that can guide and direct us. The cathedral is also a broadcasting station for the voice of the poor. So often the poor have no voice and, and are ignored. And especially uh, uh, Cornell West was our guest on the, on the forum yesterday. And he said that this is the most commodified, commercialized society that has ever existed in the history of humanity, where everything is bought and sold and where the poor really don't have a voice. But in the cathedral, a part of our job is to make sure their concerns and their voices are heard. It's also a tower of reconciliation. Uh, he says that love can imagine a community of radically different individuals all gathering together for a common purpose. And that's definitive of what we do together. It's a motel for pilgrims, a place for healing and for celebration. It's also the house of vicarious feasts. Uh, last night we had a, uh, a special lecture and I, I saw a couple that I had married here in the cathedral. The cathedral is a place where we go to experience joy, where we go to experience what lifts our hearts, and, and, and gives us happiness and pleasure. And finally, what a cathedral is, is what um, Alan says, the hut of the shepherd. There are many times in our life when we will be abandoned, when we will experience terrible sorrow, when we will feel alone. And the cathedral is a place where we can go, where we know there is a shepherd who will hear us and, and care for us. So this is a place that people can go when they're hurting. This is a place where they can be healed and made whole. Cathedrals are also the place where the seat of the bishop is. Um, the, the word cathedra means the bishop's chair. Um, but the cathedrals are so much more. In, in, in our, in our, and I think in the future, as, as people explore new kinds of spiritual life, I think cathedrals are going to be a central part of how human beings begin to transcend themselves. 
My name is Malcolm Clemens Young. I'm the Dean of Grace Cathedral here in San Francisco, California. Thanks for watching. More good news.